Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. Now it's been a while because I almost chopped my thumb off, as you'll probably remember from my previous video. Um, so I thought we'd start nice and slowly with another bag opening, just so you can see what's in here. And uh, this bag has been hanging around for quite a long time. If you remember the BBC that was brought down to me from Scott Goodman via Mr. Steve Green. Well, this is a bag from Mr. Steve Green and it's actually sat in the lab for months unopened so i have no idea what's in here so i thought we'd have a look through together could be tat cat turds tat cat turds could be those as well who knows who cares well obviously you do you're still watching you sad sad person here we go well, let's have a look inside the bag now shall we just open it up or shall we tell you what we'll do the flash gordon peter duncan thing in the tree stump let's see first things first we have got Oh, Winter Olympics for the, uh, what's Tynesoft? Oh, BBC and Electron. Oh, excellent. So Tynesoft, gosh. Tynesoft were uh, famous for doing sort of acorn conversions of um, games. Not always the best, but not terrible. I think they're also responsible for the terrible, terrible, terrible debacle that was Super Grand, the game. I'm not sure how close I can get to the camera with that. So uh, Winter Olympics by Tynesoft for the BBC B and Electron. Very nice screenshot from BBC B. That's not bad graphics at all. This reminds me of Ya Kung Fu. There's a let's have a pop back to one side. Thank you, Steve. Next, we've got going to be more electron stuff, probably. Uh, Army days load 196. Light Fantastic. This is part of the uh, Commodore Light Fantastic packing game. So it's a Commodore cassette for the uh, light gun. Gosh, let's see. It's hard not to blow that out because it's a very shiny inlay uh yeah it's a light gun game by mindscape lovely so let's just uh, pop that to one side i'm gonna go fairly quickly people always want to see what i've got but not really go into detail oh atari awesome grid runner in a clamshell for the machine code version of the classic vic 20 uh, sorry, Vic Commodore 64 game runs on any Atari 16 to 48 Oh, that will go really, really nicely with my 65 XE. Llama Soft. Nice. Bit of Jeff Minter. Lovely. Excellent. Wow. So, multi format bag. Let's see what's next. Dun, ta dun, dun. Mind out BBC games from Quicksilver. Runs on BBC Model B and something operating systems only. I don't really understand the operating systems on the BBC. Mind out. Awesome. Oh, this is really good bag, really exciting. Let's see what's next. There's still quite a few bits. Bum, 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 bum. Creepy Cave for the Electron and BBC. By Atlantis, Creepy Cave. Oh, look at those. Let's see if I can focus a bit better. There, that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, now we can have a good old close up look. Look at that. Arcade adventure. Vampire bats, ectoplasm, bolts, slime covered ledges, and acid pools. All of this go to the Butlins up the road at Dirk Daring. Mm. Very nice. Creepy cave. Very good. I'm very pleased. Thank you. Atlantis. It looks like in excellent condition as well. Not rewound though. Game over. Not rewound. I know the bag's out of focus now, but I'll bring everything up to the top. Here we go. Tan 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 tan. 3D Space Ranger BBC Micro 32K. Nice. Put that to one side. Thank you. Dun dun dun. dun. Oh, Kamikaze. Not even vaguely racist for the uh, Commodore 64128 by Codemasters. I have seen this one actually. Let's see, DSD. Two ninety nine, whatever it was, just the right tape. Be a suicidal kamikaze pilot. Biplanes, jets. Da, 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 da. Brainwashing, awesome. Even UFOs. <sighs> right, okay, to one side. Every format known to man in this bag. Let's see what's next. Bom, 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 bom. This won't surprise you. Electron, the golden figurine. Very nice. Look at that. Um. 57 rooms of arcade adventure on the Electron Blimos. 57 rooms? It must be multi load. The evil wizard Morthond is stolen. Who writes this shit? 
seriously okay yeah uh, very nice very very nice indeed oh look at that the golden figurine that looks like fun i'll have to load that up and have a go see what's next i wonder if electron games will run natively on an all bbc here we go oh, bigger case i think we might be getting to the end Dum, ba, bum, bum. green beret for when your red beret or uh, your raspberry beret is not good enough let's just focus in on that green beret sorry for the camera shake Imagine the name of the game. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Spectrum 48K. We've got a Spectrum game represented now. I don't know what else. If there's an MSX in here, I think it's everything. Right, here we go. Bam, 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 bam. It is. Mutant Invaders and Breakout for the BBC Micro 16K and 13K. Wow, awesome. Looks like a packing game or something cheap. No. 1983. I... JK Software, Lincoln Street, Blackpool, Lancashire. Bom, 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 bom. What's this? Here we go. Bug Bite Software. Oblivion for the BBC. Awesome. Of course, I've got a BBC tape lead, so I'll be able to see what else they were offering back in the day. Old Father Time, City Defence, Graphics Pack, and Sea Lord. It's very hard to actually read that because uh, the lights are very bright in the lab. So let's go pop that back in the case. These are excellent. This is such fun. I shouldn't have waited so long. I think there's about three more things. Two, three, maybe four. Ready? Here we go, YouTube. Bum, 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 bum. Contraption by Icon. BBC 1.2 OS. Most stunning cartoon style graphics. I bet they're not like that bloody picture there. Let's have a look. Contraption. And yeah, they don't dare put the bloody screenshots in there when they're saying stunning cartoon style graphics and showing a picture of an actual cartoon thing. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Are you ready? Oh, another clamshell. This one is... bit of a mess what is it elite four in one hit pack spectrum cassette uh let's see oh lovely clamshell i suspect that that inlay doesn't belong like that let's see on there we've got commando bomb jack airwolf on the other side frank bruno's boxing very nice i think i've probably got those games already but very nice to have thank you and finally, I think. No, there's two things. Not and finally. Icon Solid Gold, the cartoon strategy game. Hang on, is that by Contraption? Yeah, Contraption by Icon. Cartoon, cartoon. Definitely selling on the old cartoon angle. Nice clamshell there. Do you like a clamshell? Oh, no, dead to put a screenshot. Have a look. Let's see if I can focus dead, dead close. Sorry for the complete lack of. Uh... There we go. Wild card. Actually, that is quite cartoony. I'll give them their due. An incredible combination of sight and sound, creating a totally new concept in computer games in what can only be described as edutainment. <laughs> edutainment. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, that's in there. I've never heard of Flip. Has anyone played Flip out there? Let me know. One last thing in here. It's a different shape as well. Okay. Finally. A bit of broken glass. No. Finally. Here's what looks like a 2600 cart with no label on it. Oh, it could be anything. I don't really know how I'm going to find it. Oh, it's a combat cart to go with my other combat carts so I can continue to build my fort of combat carts. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yes. Everyone likes a bit of combat. Anyway, this is Mark from Mark Vix's stuff saying thank you very much, Mr. Steve Green. It's very kind of you to give me all of this wondrous bounty. I love it. I do love it, actually. I um, don't know what I'm going to do with half of it, because my life isn't long enough now to 
play all of these games that people keep sending me. But I have to say thank you very, very much indeed. And this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out and telling you to subscribe to get your fix. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications if I ever make videos. I know I'm a bit lazy, but uh, let's not talk about that. Um, subscribe to get your fix. All that good stuff. Hope you're well. Haven't seen you for ages. Um, probably going to open another package in the next video. Then I'm going to crack on with some of those projects, which I couldn't do because I was injured. So uh, see you all on the flip side.